Good morning, everyone. This is James at Lock in the Value talking to you today about the wonderful correction that has now began resolving itself. It was great waking up this morning seeing that I was right. That yesterday, when I said, strong hands, buy the dip, stay calm, stay level headed, a correction and a significant one when it's 20%, 30%. Duh, 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 duh. It's horrible to see. However, it's part of a healthy cycle. And you are seeing this to be true today. What a difference 24 hours makes. Um, so here on this channel, I talk to you about projects that I think have value. Um, and I track what I talk about to make sure you're informed about how I'm getting on as well. So I can't hide from anything when I'm talking about a good project or a bad project or whatever. So uh, a quick update. So I've updated all the prices uh, this morning. So I will point this out again. A Udemy course that I was selling in April and May of last year, I said the number one investment for the year was Phantom. People paid £20 for that course. Phantom has done over 110x. If you'd have invested a measly $100, you'd now be sitting on over $11,000. If you'd invested $1,000, you'd be sitting on over $111,000. And $10,000, you'd be a bloody millionaire. I don't know another YouTuber that's nailed a prediction like that, just say. Anyway, let's talk about the market. So um, I said yesterday, and it has been the part and parcel of what we're going to see is a correction get... I think get resolved quicker as a result of institutional money. And we've seen that, right? We have seen that evidenced today. Um, and you've got to bear in mind the, the news cycles. Right now, mainstream media is not a big fan of crypto, okay? Um, and they like to talk about the negatives. So if you look, um, you know, you've got two days ago, they talk, BBC talked about Bitcoin hitting new highs after Tesla backing, right? But they were, they were actually slow to that news. But look, Bitcoin leads cryptocurrency market sell-off. Uh, eToro down as crypto market plummets. Bitcoin price crashing. Why is crypto market collapsing? Um, Bitcoin slumps as 14% pull, pullback. Bitcoin bloodbath. Bitcoin Ethereum crushed as crypto market is overrun by sellers. You have got to take this news for what it is. And it's, uh, it's people trying, it's clickbait. It's people trying to be to do a scary headline in the same way that they do with any news story these days. Jesus, COVID, there's a great example. I'm not saying it's not nothing. I, you know, it's, it's clearly an issue. But the, the, the fear is the big selling point for news organizations because I had to actually search for this because that should be a massive headline because it was what I said would happen yesterday. We would see over the next couple of days, major companies doubling down on their investment. Square bought $170 million more in Bitcoin to boost their holdings. They can see it coming. What is going to happen is Bitcoin eventually will be a million dollar coin. That will happen. Now, I don't think it will happen this year. I know there's loads of people hyping that. I think that's unrealistic, right? You're looking at a 20X from where it is. Bitcoin's not doing that. Not in a year, maybe five years, next bull cycle. Um, but not this year, not this year. We've got to keep, keep level-headed about this, yeah? There are still great investments to be made in this market and having a calm objective perspective which is hard to do when it's your money because fundamentally like i said yesterday even when i see those awful goddamn days where it's 30 percent 30 percent 30 percent you remind yourself of your perspective my perspective is this is going to be the biggest investment market 10 years down the line right so with that in mind i have to hold true to what I believe. And what I believe is that this is only going to improve. So when it's a crappy day, you're doubling down, you buy the dips, right? Now, 
Um, one thing I also want to get into is uh, some undervalued projects. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to go into great depth. I am literally just going to say what, uh, some that I think is undervalued. I've talked about Elrond before. I am certain Elrond is going to break 500, maybe 1,000. Right? I really do believe it could be a thousand because even if it's a thousand, it only puts it at about it only puts it at twenty million, twenty billion market cap. Now, I'm saying only like that small, but in the context of what the market's going to become, it is small. Yeah, the top ten all have a minimum market cap of ten billion. You better believe a lot of these are going to double. Right, polka dot will will treble at minimum i w i would expect it to sort of go up sixfold from this point okay so elrond undervalued if you're buying doge don't i am sick of elon musk the guy is dangerous the way he plays around with actual with people's actual investments by tweeting because he knows he's influential is dangerous and it's and i guarantee you during this last dip this week he will have or his company will have bought a ton of uh, Bitcoin. And when that comes out, anyone that likes him should rethink that because that will happen. And you have to look at what he did. He started stating it was all overvalued. The dips happened and I bet you he bought it. Bet you he bought it from scared hands. And that's dangerous. And that's, and how much money does someone need? I, I have no problem with capitalism. I have no problem with someone trying to improve their wealth however when you are 150 billion dollars as net worth and you're playing with people's investments is not okay and i don't i'd keep very i'd keep away from stuff like doge and stuff that, that have no value obviously phantom is smashing it like i said you know talked about it when it was half a cent udemy course 20 dollars. that was all um zillica i still think is undervalued I think Zillica is great. V E chain, uh, V chain, where's V chain? Uh, v chain, still think that's massively undervalued. Um, I, I'm sort of expecting at least a doubling on V chain from this point. Um, Synthetics is definitely going to have a huge pump beyond 20. I wouldn't be surprised if Synthetics becomes 100. Um, the value behind it and the hype behind it is always going to be there. Um, Theta I've spoken about in, in quite a lot of depth. In fact, I don't think that's on my spreadsheet, so I'll have to add that in at some point. Theta, uh, um, I think it's going to do very well. IOTA, $5. I wouldn't be surprised. There's a lot here that's still set to have gains. So thinking it through, Icon, I said Icon as well when it was at 25 odd cents. I think Icon's a $10 coin at least. I think there's a 5x from there. Um, so look this market is is no way nowhere close to ending but calm heads prevail if you sold off yesterday hopefully you will see what happened today and you will know for the future to react a little more objectively if you bought yesterday you goddamn legend well done yeah because you should have bought yesterday um right listen here's a question is there any project in particular you guys want me to review or look at in proper depth? Okay, because I'm going to start at the moment. I'm really j just massively like everyone else. You know, I'm not going to give myself credit, but like everyone else, Polkadot is a very exciting ecosystem. I think it's set for stupid growth. Um, and I hold hands within uh, Polkadot and some of the projects in that ecosystem. Um, so I'm beginning to look into that in more depth. If there is any particular project you want me to check, to to look at, write in the comments and talk and tell me, and I will endeavour to make sure I do so. When my channel was a lot smaller, it's still small by the way, but when it was a lot smaller, people would comment and ask me to review a coin, and I did, and then I gave my perspective on if I bought it, sold it, or whatever. Okay, and. If you're if there's a project that you're nervous about or that scares you as an idea, tell me and I'll have a look. One thing I did last year was tell everyone to goddamn not buy yam. I said no one buy yam and everyone bought it. And 24 hours after I did that video, yam got hacked because it was an unaudited 
um, it was an unaudited project. So the code hadn't been checked. Someone exploited the code and everyone got wrecked. Not all, they lost a little bit. They lost everything. And I'd said, you don't go into an unaudited project. It's dangerous. It is not one to do. And I'm ha happy to always give my opinion on that. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, I'm endeavoring to look into the dot ecosystem more and more and more as as I had been previously, but been dealing with COVID stuff. So um, that's why I'm only just getting back into the swing of videos. Um, anything you want me to look at, please write. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Be smart. Be calm. And be objective in this market. Right. Have a good day.